You guys have endured. You're cold, you're wet, you're tired. You don't want to be here anymore. Welcome to the same thoughts that our soldiers had, but they had bullets coming at them. You guys just had to deal with rain and three of us yelling at you to pick up logs and move sand-filled ammo cans. Perspective. When this really did go on, they had the day off. Then all of a sudden at 3.30 in the afternoon, they got fried with a mission. At four o'clock, they launched. So we had to amp it up from a nice, how you doing, having fun event to a, just an intense, you're in the battle space, you're, in the, you're on a mission, and it is getting thick real quick. And as we went over the timeline, it gave them the sense of urgency and what it was like when things really started mounting on them. To, uh, one incident after another incident. Oh, I see, hurry up. Grab two people. I don't care if they've got like six rocks on them. Oh well. Cash is right there. Grab him. Go. One of the historic things about this event, which instructors do sometimes incorporate in other challenges, but specific to this one, is, is the last mile that the Rangers moved. The real story, when they moved out, not only did the UN armored vehicles take off on them, they're supposed to go to a rally point, link up with other vehicles that were that they were going to then get in and then go home. What we do is we actually have a false finish, just like those Rangers did in the real world. And we act like that it's all over, like the Rangers thought it was going to be. We act like the challenge is, has, has been successful. And then we put the patches back away. And we, start, we go through the mindset of what they're thinking. We go through what actually happened and that they're not done yet. And then what is known as the Mogadishu Mile, it's a mile of just butt kicking, physicality, buddy carries, where we put down half the class and they've got to figure it out and really dig deep to get to that actual finish. 